So I was trying to think how to teach this next bit, and, well, if I weren't a teacher, my next career option would be a TV chef, and so I thought this might be a nice way to try and get into that. Hello, so in this video we are going to be learning how to make a wonderfully moist chocolate cola cake, and also hopefully learn the difference between percentage yield and atom economy as well. So for this recipe, you will need 250 grams of self-raising flour, 300 grams of sugar, two heaped tablespoons of cocoa, two eggs, preferably free range, some Vive original cola drink, 125 ml of milk, 250 grams of butter, and a generous pinch of sodium bicarbonate. Firstly, you will need to sift the flour, the sugar, and the cocoa into a large bowl. Okay, so once that's done, you want to add your pinch of sodium bicarbonate. There we go. And now, we need to melt the butter and the cola into the pan. Okay, so I'm going to add my butter to the pan. And then I'm going to add my can of Vive Original Cola Drink. There we go. I'm going to take that over to the hob and get the butter melted. Okay, so I've got my melted butter and cola drink there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add it into my dry ingredients and start to stir that. Don't worry if you get a few lumps at this point. If you keep stirring, they will start to go. Next, we're going to crack the eggs into the um, milk, get them beaten up before we add them into the rest of the cake mix. and you're going to stir it up really thoroughly, but don't stir too hard. Next, we're going to add the vanilla essence, and then we should be ready to bake. So one teaspoon of that. Make sure it's stirred in. And then we're going to transfer the mixture to a greased baking tin. This is then going to be put in the oven at 180 degrees C, gas mark four, 40 minutes. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not going to become a TV chef, but hopefully we'll be able to use that to learn a little bit about atom economy and percentage yield. So let's start with percentage yield. Here you can see some cake mix which didn't make it into my final cake. This stuff reduces my percentage yield. If I improved my cake making method, I would get a higher yield, I'd get more of this in my cake. Now, atom economy. Here you can see some waste products generated due to the cake making process. No matter how well I make my cake, I will still have these waste products. I cannot reduce these waste products. So to summarise, percentage yield measures the conversion of starting materials to product. You can calculate it by doing percentage yield equals actual amount of product formed, divided by calculated amount of product formed, both in mole. Atom economy is a measure of how much waste product there is. Atom economy equals molar mass of desired product, divided by molar mass of all products.